Life is a jungle. You need savage business and finance to lead you out of the jungle today. In this video, we will be talking how you pay yourself from a single member LLC and a few other considerations you should have when organizing your company. If this is your first time here, what I want you to do is go to the beginning of the channel and begin watching videos from the start of this channel up to now so you can get your financial education so you can become financially literate. All right, so I'm going to give you a few scenarios. The first scenario is the holding company situation where you create a holding company before you create your operating company. And what you're going to do is create a collection of checking accounts for your holding company that are going to be different than the collection of checking accounts that you would create for your operating company. Your holding company will be established as the parent company of your operating companies. So what you would do is from your holding company capital accounts, you would write a check to your operating company to start it. Let's just go ahead for the sake of throwing out numbers. Let's say you write a check from your holding company for $50,000 to your operating company. And this is to start up the company. This is to fund expenses and so on and so forth. Now, your operating company has been in business for a year. Your operating company has made $150,000. Now you want to start taking money out of the operating company. How do you do it? Well, the first thing is you would start with that $50,000 because that's tax free because that money came from the holding company, which came from tax free sources that you were already taxed. So you could draw this $50,000 out in the form of distributions or draws from your operating company straight to your personal banking account. So what I would do is write a check from one of your, your payroll operating account. Once again, let's take a few steps backwards. Once you set up your operating LLC, you're going to have multiple checking accounts and one of your multiple checking accounts should be a payroll checking account. This established the intention that you will have employees one day and this is a dedicated account where the payroll will come from. So from your payroll account, you would write a check to yourself and you would deposit this check into your personal checking account. So that's one way that you could get paid. You could take all of the 50,000 off at once, or you can take the 50,000 off in increments. And what I would write on the checks is draw or capital distribution to, because at the end of the year, you're going to have to balance your books and you're going to have to know where this money came from, and how did it end up here? And you're going to have to track it. So I would annotate the checks with capital distributions draw. So this is one way that you can get that $50,000 back and not pay any taxes on it. Another way that you could get paid from your single member LLC is to write yourself a check every week, every two weeks, once a month, whenever you desire and just write what it's for that this is your payroll now these checks are going to be a little different because you're going to have to pay taxes you're going to have to pay payroll taxes you're going to, have to pay social security on this money that you're giving yourself from your company now ideally that can get a little complicated so what i would do if i were you I would sign up with ADP or some payroll facilitator to handle that. Cause what they will do is automatically handle all that and make sure the money is dispersed where it needs to be because you're running a company, you know, you're not just trying to sit around and count money all day. So I would sign up for ADP. Uh, virtually every bank has a payroll facilitator service. It can cost you anywhere from 50 bucks to 200 depending on how many people you have to pay when i had my consulting business i had 12 employees 
Every two weeks, it was $250 to make sure that everyone got paid. Now, when I had that consulting company, I never took any money out of that consulting company. I'll talk about that a little later. But I would do it that way because this these are the two ways that you can take money out of your single member LLC, get paid, and everything will be dress right dress and everything will look lovely. Also, I'm gonna give you some more points of consideration. Once you deploy the holding company strategy, this means that you're going to develop more than one stream of income. Because typically, the title of this video is how to pay yourself from a single member LLC. There's more information here about that. So let's say you go ahead and get company number one up and running and it's making $150,000 a year. And this company pays you $75,000 a year, which you will pay taxes on and all of that sort of stuff. So while you're sitting there and you get your business rolling and you go back to your holding company and you would set up another operating company. And this operating company, once again, we would go through the same procedure. You would take money from the holding company and cut a check to the second operating company to get it up and running and started and wash, rinse, and repeat, because you will be able to take that money back out tax-free. And once that money is taken out, then the money that you take out to pay yourself, you will have to pay taxes. Now, let's go ahead and do some fast forward. Let's say and it's in the future, and it's five years in the future, and you have three companies that are operating under your holding company. Now, how you would pay yourself will be a little different because what's going to happen to that money is the money's going to flow up to the holding company. So you will not be paying yourself out of the operating companies because there are so many ways you can do this. But once your your companies are up and running, they're making money, all of this money flows up to the holding company and then you will be cutting yourself a check from the holding company. And once again, I would recommend that you sign up for ADP or whatever, or QuickBooks or whatever. If you're really handy with math and this is something you feel comfortable with, you can do. Go ahead and do that because all of this money has to be accounted for. Now I'm gonna give you one strategy. What you do is you put yourself on salary from the holding company. Now there are many people who will push back as like the IRS say you have to pay yourself a fair and reasonable salary. It, no, you can pay yourself $25,000 a year, you can pay yourself $50,000 a year, you can pay yourself $100,000 a year. Also know whatever you're going to pay yourself, you have to pay taxes on. So you gotta be really careful. I wanna give you a strategy that someone, that I, actually a few people I know that employed. So they got a check with everyone else from the holding company. Every two weeks they got a check and then every quarter they got something that was called distributions. This is how they got a weekly paycheck like regular people and every quarter they got a dividend distribution check. Now why would you employ this strategy? You save money on taxes because dividends are taxed totally different than salary. Salary, a commission are, are taxed really really highly. But dividends are not taxed that way. So you would pay less taxes on it and you would able to extract your money on a weekly basis or every two weeks basis. And every quarter you would get a check and yes, taxes have to be paid on this, but you would pay way less taxes doing a smaller weekly or two weekly salary than if you were just to take all of the money that you were due out the company and pay yourself a salary. You would get hammered. You would get like, it would be ridiculous what would happen. Because one of the things is with the distribution, dividend distribution manner, you get around FICA and all of these little payroll taxes, which can be 13 to 15%. Now you gotta make sure that this is set up correctly because you're gonna save 13 to 15%. You're still gonna to have to pay federal, but wait a minute, you're a business owner. There's so many ways that you can do this. There's so many ways that you can set this up. You can go ahead 
and set yourself up on salary from your company. And as one of your company benefits, you can have the company pay for your car, which is a tax deduction. You can have the company pay for your cell phone, which is a tax deduction. See, the way the game should be played is you should have the company paying for as many of your bills as possible as a company tax deductible expense. The overall strategy here is to reduce the number of taxes you pay. Let me go ahead and give it to you like this. Let's say you had a holding company, you had three operating companies, and the three operating companies generated you 1.5 million a year. And if you were crazy enough to take a million dollars out of your company as salary, you would pay so much in taxes, like literally you would pay 350 to $400,000 in taxes, for real. However, if you put yourself on salary, you would pay yourself $250,000 and then take the rest as dividend distributions, you could literally save yourself $200,000. That's a rental property. That's a lot of money. And this is how you play the corporate game. This is why you set up your stuff because every time you set up a corporate entity, you create the vision against between you, the person, and your business interests. You're completely separate. And you can run this. You can, you can have this business entity paying you a paycheck, which is real handy because if you have your business paying you a paycheck and cutting you a W-2, when you go to get a mortgage, you know, you don't have to tell them you're self-employed. Why? Because you would have filed taxes as an employee of your own corporation. Literally, it's like, here's my W-2, you can check my taxes, and it's all going to work out well. Oh, I have additional income. Yeah, every quarter I get a big check from the company. So there, there's so many ways you can play this game. There's so many ways you can get money out of your company. It's just about how creative you want to be, how structured you want to be, and how hard you want to work, and how you want to set it up. But these are the easiest ways to get paid out of your company as a single member LLC, and this is one of the ways to play the corporate game of America. I'm about to get a little political here. During the CARES Act, who got most of the money? America got $350 billion, and everyone else got trillions of dollars. The stock market, got $3 trillion. Corporate America got $3 trillion. So if you wanna be on the side of the equation the next time something goes down like this, you want to be on the corporate identity side. Who did the Trump tax cut benefit? Corporations. So do yourself a favor. And one of the things I have below is the art of holding. It will teach you how to set up your holding companies in your operating companies. And I'm beginning to have some little chats to give you some updates to some more business game that I'm gonna be dropping. Because I am telling you, this is the only opportunity you have it left to make it in America. This is it. You cannot like, during this pandemic, the average working man has been eviscerated with what has gone on. You have to play the corporate game if you wanna win in America. That's it. And one of the things, and I will be talking about a lot of stuff on this playlist, be sure to subscribe. You can employ your wife, you can create a family. There, there's so many things you can do and I will be talking about. So with that, go ahead, go below, get 30 days to 2,500. It's my free gift to you to help you get start playing this corporate game. Get the hustler's mindset, pimping your mind for success. And also, if you're in the position, because it is costly, go below, get the art of holding. I'm gonna give you a little juice off if you wanna start playing the corporate game. Because I'm telling you, the corporate game is some of the best game on the planet. And you want to be a participant in that corporate game. So right here, there's another video that's gonna be talking about the corporate game. You should watch it and you should up your education level about corporate America. You want to be an American citizen? Become corporate.